Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, the Gwent single player expansion. Well, not expansion, standalone game. Standalone game. We uh, last time we killed the Grave Hack and we burned her corpse nice, uh, nicely over there, and now we have a, a graveyard to explore. And there's this little shack in the back. My queen, one of the destroyed greys belonged to an elven mage. We might find something worth, something of worth. But we would first need to dedicate sufficient resources to have the debris cleared. That's part of a card, so I do really want that. There we go, the second part of the commander's horn card. Let's start gathering that, because I really, really want that card. And uh, yeah, let's leave this graveyard behind, because I feel like that's the reason why I can't do anything in the camp. If I go out and now check the camp... So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but usually I have a, a hand that I can use. But uh, the hand is gone. So I don't know if that's a bug or not. I'd actually have to restart the game in a second. Aha, there we go. So restarting the game got me the little hand icon back. So let's check out the commander's horn. And check out Meave's ability. So boost an ally by four and give it one armor and trigger all allies loyal ability. Can be changed to... Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by 3, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. I think I prefer the longsword. Art-wise, the Warhammer is a lot cooler, but um, I think the longsword is more interesting. Could do that as well. You know what? Let, let's try it. Let's just try that out. And save the deck, and I think that's pretty much it. No, I'm still lacking the wood to actually do the workshop, which is the next thing I want to do. Although... To study, but I don't... I'm not lacking in recruits at the moment. Although that might, of course, be messing with my head, but... Pretty much, no. I'm just gonna keep it at that. Let's just save up the wood to be able to upgrade the workshop itself. Um, moving on. So, I think we're gonna go to the north this time. There's like a big uh, estate up there that we haven't checked out yet. I mean, there's a lot of things we haven't checked out yet, but uh, it's the first thing I can think of. Although we never went through Wellington because there's like an area down there. I'm not really sure how to reach. Maybe through the graveyard? I think I can access it through the trees here. Yeah, this will be it because there's a lot of loot here as well. So wood, a uh, cart that's left behind which gives us gold and wood. And then we have these chests which is a lot of gold. And then this man. Your Grace, a traveling merchant, has stopped in the village. He's invited you to have a look at his wares, for which he has promised modest prices. I've no desire to buy, but I have something to sell. Why not? I've got coin enough. Let's trade with him. Yeah, I need the wood. I definitely need the wood, so let's do that. Which gives us enough wood, but I think that drops our gold level to below what we could have uh, before. Can we actually go in there? So I can't seem to access that orchard, so let's check out the north here. Okay, so that's another... Is that another uh, shrine then? Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. Okay, might as well do that if I can. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's a shrine here, which is weird. But we do have a notice board. And that gives us a fight over there, a battle in the back. Okay, but my morale is low, so I should wait. And I can't actually go through this door, so nothing of use to me. Now, um, let's go to the north end, to the estate, which actually has a broken wall, apparently. So this is the estate that has been crumbling when we uh, first set foot here. Looks like a church. Traveling the high road. They heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Neve turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened, her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. That is not good. A temple under attack. Stained glass glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses, gathered in the yard, were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Of course. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, holy books. My lady, 
I implore you, come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave's scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. So that's probably the door we saw to the, it's all come clear to the now. east. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Okay, so that makes sense. We kind of left this area to the side before. The good mother warned us. Hard times lie ahead. Okay, so let's see if we can't find a way to boost morale here before we go on. Because if we could go into that battle with a bit of a leg up, that would be nice. It seems like this keeps going. So this is not the east, so I'm hoping I won't bump into those uh, strays. Your Majesty, turn back. Okay, what was that? Something wicked? Something wicked? What, what did she, did she say? Your Majesty, turn back. Yeah, something wicked lurks. So let's check this out. So that's a fast travel point. We have a puzzle in that thing over there and a bit of more resources over here. Let's check out the command tent first. And with command tent, I meant workshop and let's upgrade. We can either upgrade the workshop or improve the training ground so we get a recruit every time we win a battle. But I think I'm going to go for the extra yeah the extra units so enables you to create new support units in the command tent there we go that's that and we get the war wagon spawn two light infantry on the right a crushing trap set the power of each unit on this road to the average of all units so we've seen that and then the forager destroy the unit to the right and boost self by its power if it's an artifact boost self by the current power instead so that would be nice if you can destroy an artifact to get 10 more points, which is nice. So I might actually want to try... Do we actually need to make those? Yeah, we do need to make those. I don't have any... Yeah, any resources left to do so. Although maybe one forager would be doable. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make one more forager. And then we can use the forager to destroy artifacts. Uh, we can just add that. Now we're over our usage, our unit capacity. So let's remove one of the sidemen. And do it like that. Although the Rivian pikemen, yeah, we're going to have to see what the use of those are. But uh, moving on. And let's dive into this puzzle. And that seems to be... What's that? Is that a werewolf? This sacred cemetery had once been an oasis of peace, a place of prayer, reflection and meditation. Alas, necrophages now scuttle among exhumed graves and human bones litter its ground. The priestesses believe the beast's sudden appearance heralded some impending woe. Yet in what form? What fate awaited Lyria and its people? Weaken each enemy to one power. Because of course they're rot fiends, so rot fiends explode when they die and we don't want them to explode, probably. So, weaken each enemy to one power. Which means that ideally we need to do... Yeah, so we need to do seven damage to each. And I don't think these guys can do anything, right? So they damage all units on this row by four, but we need to just reduce that to one. And the deploy abilities won't do anything either. So we have two more arbalests in there. Uh, we can do this. And then the turn. If I do decoy again, what happens? So now we do decoy, we pull that back, that's probably what they want us to use. Then the war wagon again, we get 5 units on that row. Like a wolf, I am. And then we get... So that's gonna be 6 damage, which is just a bit short of what we need to. Let's end the turn. And then we can move these around. We can do that once, so if we just use the Lyrian Arbalests... Yeah, I think I have it. So the Lyrian Arbalest once, we do 6 damage, which brings 1 down to 2. Then we can use another Arbalest and do 7 damage. Arbalest to your command. On uh, 
that one. Then now we would do too much, too much damage. So let's put uh, one arbalest down over here, I'm a just to do one damage. And then we have seven. No, we have seven units on this one. So I need to remove. Uh, wait. So I'm gonna add two units. And I need to keep the seven, so move one to the other row and two to the other row. And then we can use Count Caldwell in the next turn to put him over here. Keep calm, Tiberius. That gives us one more. Wait, why didn't it? Why didn't it trigger? Wait, what? What happened? Why did my deck change? That was weird. There were two. Yeah, let's try that again. So see, now there are two Lyrian Arbalests in my deck. What? Who dares? Again, it didn't trigger. So if I don't touch my deck, those cards apparently don't disappear. And now I can do exactly what I wanted to do in the first place. So now with my last Arbalest, I do six damage. And there we go. Okay, that was weird. It was kind of bugged because my cards disappeared from my deck. And uh, the Caldwell card didn't uh, trigger probably. But there we go. There we go, had to restart that a few times to just see what was actually going on. Okay, more loot for us. And there we have another hidden area here in the back, it seems like. Which doesn't really give us anything at the first glance. Oh no, there's a treasure chest. I said nothing. We get another card from that, I suppose. Open that up. Congratulations, you can use this avatar border in the... Went multiplayer card game. Thank you. Another one of those fancy golden borders. So that means we... Yeah. Sadly don't have a way of boosting the morale of our troops. Which might hurt if we go on against those uh, Spala guys. The Straits of Spala. Oh, wait. My lady, a monster has defiled one of the tombs. Laid waste to sacred graves. Bones litter the floor and treasures enough to fill our coffers. A war is on, your grace. Surely the dead have no need for it. Right? No further desecration shall befall this place, of course. Leave the treasures, seal the tomb. So we need wood to seal the tombs. Obviously, and we get morale back. So that brings us to neutral morale. Which is enough, I suppose. Yeah, so sorry, lady. I, I just saw something to loot over here. Sorry, I mean, oh, we got morale because of we because we helped the priestess. Okay, that's great. So that means we now should be able to attack the strays. So let's do that first. Let's go east and attack those guys. Wheel ruts, the strays, no doubt. They must be nearby. Oh crap! Look at that. There's a wyvern over there. That's behind the gate. That's, uh, that's lovely. That's very, very lovely. Um, so they rode through here, but this wall is also broken down. Let's check that later on, because I see there's uh, something that we can use to boost the morale, not the shrine. They definitely went this way. But then... Oh, yeah, probably over here in the camp. The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they had stolen from the cloister's cellar. The brigands had not posted sentries. Another round to the sisters. Ha ha ha. Meave's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished, yet only the queen could order the assault. And yeah, let's order our force to uh, attack the bandits. High time we put these strays on a leash, spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms, follow me! Bankers clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. So for some reason, the voiceover wasn't present there. So uh, here we go. Had the brigands chosen to hide in the dense forest to station a guard, this battle might never have come to pass and they might have slipped away with their prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence, or perhaps Perhaps the gods, thirsty for vengeance on the blasphemers, had dulled their vigilance. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. To have special rules, but we do use our own decks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So choose a card to withdraw, redraw six of them. So play a random ally from the graveyard. 
could be handy, but maybe only one. Ooh, no, wait, wait, wait. I can't have both Rivian and Pikeman. Yeah, that's better. Them. So this is a normal battle, uh, which means, yeah, we should be fine. And then we have an artifact over here. Permanent resilience when Meev uses her ability, reduce her cooldown by one order, move to the other row. Okay. So when Meev uses her ability, reduce the cooldown by one, which is fine. Let's start with the Wagenberg, so we can just start boosting that. And we can actually use her ability immediately, I think. Pick a card to move. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, right, that changed. So I need to put something up top. Uh, probably, preferably a blitz unit. So let's put Count Caldwell up there, because I don't think the top blitz unit, yeah. Let's put Cold, Count Caldwell up there and boost it by three. And then trigger the ability, sadly, which I couldn't do. Um, and that means I can actually end the turn. Yeah, let's end the turn. So a plunder filled wagon after two turns on turn start escape. And the strays of spallout damage unit by fire if it's on a row with fire damage all unit on it by five. That's actually pretty strong. Um, let's reinforce the Wagenberg with the Rivian Pikeman. So that gives us two armor. And that's pretty much it. Because I can't actually do anything with that for the most part. So let's end the turn. So nine. Jesus. That's a lot of damage, by the way. Damage unit by five. So I could bring back a unit. So bring back the Wagenberg. But what use would that bring us? I think we're better off just starting to use our blasts uh, in the next turn. And then just use the regiment drummer on this one. And I think that's pretty much it. I can't really do anything else. Could move it to the other row, but not really useful there. And I can actually use Meave again, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. So there, one of the wagons just got away. Regroup. Horse Thief. Mark a unit after three turns on turn start. Switch its power with this unit's power. Okay. Is this one of those things that can escape? I don't think it is, right? So would that one of them escape? But I'd like to hope that that was on purpose. Um, so let's use the charge. Oh no, not, not the charge ability first. Let's just do the Arbalest. And then we can do four damage on... Hmm. This thing would be a waste. I can actually also pass. Must be. Must keep that in mind. Although I want to destroy all its. Yeah, because we have that. Wait, we have. We need to prevent three gold wagons from escaping, right? Yeah. Okay. So the Lydian Arbalest. Let's use that to just blast away at the the horse thief. There we go. And then we can use the regiment drummer. To get Lord Caldwell out of there. Put that in between these two. And then we can use another regiment drummer. To just get our next blitz unit on there. And then another arbalest. Which I can use later on of course. But now I think I'm just going to use it to. Blast away one of the strays of Spala. No the horse thief. I don't want to risk that happening anytime soon. Then we could use the order ability. I think I'm actually going to do that. Ha! Now I can use one of my units to pull that up top. Let's put the Lyrian Ar Arbalest up top. And then two attacks happen. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Because it can't do anything else. It's been marked, but the other one is gone. So end the turn. Ooh, move three cards to the other row on its side and damage each by two, which is exactly what just happened. Which means that my units have moved. 
If I now use the Regiment Drummer, I get the Arbalest. So if I do that, that happens. Then I can... What's in my graveyard? It's that... Yeah, the Wagenberg. But I can use that in the next round, probably. Um, so if I now use the Lyrian Arbalest, I just destroyed that. But I can not put two more units on the field if I just use Reynard. Yeah, let's use that. Let's use Reynard. And then give two more charges. And then we can use the Drummer to get a Pikeman in. And this one should actually give us another Arbalest, yeah. There we go. So that's one down. And let's end the turn. Okay, after two turns of turn start, boost self by the power of the unit on the right, then move to the opposite side. Fair enough, I don't really need to do anything about that. I just want to use another... Um, so I can strengthen it again. Because I don't have a lot of things I can actually do now. Hmm. I think I might have fucked myself here. Because they're doing damage on the wrong thing. So I can of course use the Arbalest to once again move forward. But because of the spy I can't actually put the Arbalest down. So let's just use the Fortitude Tonic. To boost whatever the hell I want to boost actually. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Do I still need to win two rounds of this by the way? Because I just want to destroy that last... Uh horsey thingy over there. Mark unit after two. Okay, that's the same thing. There it goes. And then of course the Lyrian Arbalests. Oh, that's not enough. Okay. Oh, I got away. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retry this. Let's retry this. So I've restarted this because I now understand that this battle is only one turn. So I just need to play out my cards and avoid getting uh, three of those. So I probably would have won the first time we tried this. But yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. But nothing I can do about that right now, can we? So let's just start out with filling the field as we tried to do before. I don't have a Wagenberg this time. So let's just start doing War Wagons. And I can probably not, but <laughs> yeah, that's just right. I can actually use her ability immediately now. And um, put a strong Arblast up front, probably. Actually, I want to play as many cards as I can. So maybe the Regiment Drummer is not that bad to put there, because I can actually chain those. There we go. And then that's pretty much it. So let's end the turn. There we go. Our next horse. The horse thief can do whatever he wants to. Because frankly I don't really care. Let's put down the Arblast. So that's going to be 8 damage. Which is a bit much to my taste. But nothing I can do about that just now. So let's just do... Yeah, let's just do that 8 damage. Blamo. And then we can use... We can't use this anymore, right? No, there's no charges left. And... Actually move... You know what, let's just end the turn now. I just want to see how this plays out. So... One of those is going to take the 7. And the other one is going to take the 12. I think I need to kill the guy that wants to take my 12. Uh, nothing in the graveyard just yet, so the... The field medic is kind of gathering dust in here. Uh, we need to put down another Arbalest, because otherwise that's not going to work out. But we can do that by just overpowering them if I want to. Do I want to risk that? I think I want to. So let's play Col Count Caldwell in between these two. That means I get one of the... Ooh. The drummer. And no, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. I thought there was going to be... Yeah, I missed, I misplaced them. Never mind, never mind. Let's put those down. Then use Meave's ability. I'm gonna let another horse escape, aren't I? 
Ah, that's annoying. Okay. Let's just do this. Put an Arbalest up top. And that sadly didn't randomly didn't randomly attack the uh, the horse that's escaping. So that's the second horse that's gonna escape, which is not that bad, I think. I'm gonna survive that. Okay. There we go. That's bad for me. Ooh, and the infiltrated. That's gonna hurt. Um so I can't put it on that row anymore. Ooh, they're just gonna update me like that. I can use the Warhammer, but that's not gonna help me much. Although, you know what? Fuck it. I actually can force a unit out here, so... The Forager is not a Blitz unit, sadly enough. So let's just use the Lyrian Arbalest. And then, um, yeah, just use a Lyrian Arbalest, I suppose. Can actually start damaging my own units here. That's not gonna help out much. There we go. And that means I can actually just end the turn, I suppose. There he goes. That's 21. I don't have anything in my graveyard yet. So I need to pull that Arbalest out. So let's just use this. And pull out the Arbalest. And destroy the horse. For fuck's sake, I'm just burning guards now. Okay. I need I'm forced to destroy cards now. So that means actually another horse is gonna escape. Unless he kills something now. No, he doesn't. Oh my god. So we're gonna use Warhammer again, not that it's gonna help us much. Ah, oh, they just they, yeah, they just removed some armor. So I think the horse is gonna escape. Is it gonna escape? I'm not sure. But there goes my last card. Ah, we need to pass. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. So they, they both passed it, I went, holy crap, that was close. That was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Gladly we had morale up, otherwise that would have been completely destroyed. The Queen's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, relic reliquaries lined with mother of pearl gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasure res returned, your grace. They would pray ardently for your victory, Reynard Opin... Opened? Opened? Yet, you could also keep the silver expended on the war effort, and who's to say which prayer coin could be more useful? Well, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the right thing, right? Just order the treasure to be returned to the cloister. Hard times the realm now endures, the queen said, after a pause. Yet and the voiceover is back. Our lapse in principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it down to the last Gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meave's ranks, aiming to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Okay, so that means we did get more troops, and this card has been added to your army and can be found at the command tent, Field Medic. There we go, so now we... Because we got those field medics, that's weird. We got those field medics from other parts then, probably. There we go, more gold. We did get a lot of gold. There we go, more gold. My dearest Shrays, once you've relieved the pious priestesses of their unnecessary baubles, make your way south to the estate of Lord Clayton. Words got round he's raised quite the sum for the dowry of his not-so-comely daughter. But can love truly be built upon a mound of coin? I think not. Let's save the poor lad from an unhappy marriage, shall we? Your Duke of Dogs, Earl of Mutts, High King of Huckleberries, His Trampy Highness, His Sparky Lordship, G. So yeah, this Lord Clayton must have uh, a big hand in what those strays of Spala were up to. Because we've seen his hand sure, in a few things now. you can find a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Because they, they call, did they call Lord Clayton the, 
the king of the hounds and of course the strays are actually dogs which is uh interesting so we could go further up just want to check out the temple again although i think the map actually ends over here so i don't think there's much here so let's loot a few a corpse Time heals all wounds, they say, that memories fade, that the nightmares would end and my pain would cease. Yet, eight years have passed since I left the world behind, not but prayer, confession and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale, had I noticed the child, had I pulled back on the reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once, now I pray only for an end, may it come quickly. So a man killed himself because he uh, accidentally killed a child, if I understand correctly, by running it over. Um, and this is probably the shack that we can unlock with this. And there we go. Gold and wood for our troubles. And that gave us a well, nice amount again. So, uh, nothing to see there. And this is a route. Oh, okay, so we loop around over there, which is fine. And then we can check out the back of the temple. Before we talk to the priestesses, maybe they have something else to say about what we did. Thank you, Your Majesty. On our own behalf and on that of our pilgrims. Ah, there we go. And Thank I think this you, is just Majesty. another on shrine that would boost our morale. So, Your Majesty, the priestesses of Melitele implore you to leave an offering. The Mother Goddess smiles upon those who bow before her altar, they say, and leave a gift of gold at her feet. So, morale up and a card piece. There we go, Lyrian Horn. This card is now complete. You can find it in the command tent. So, we lost a bit of gold again. But, yeah, we did get our Lyrian Horn card, so I kind of feel like we just bought the card. Let's see if we can... Talk to the priestesses, and otherwise, we might be at the end of this episode. And that wyvern is creeping me the hell out. So let's talk to these people. Little I will not forget your sacrifice, nor will her faithful servants. So we just got the extra card, so the the medics we can uh, now create as well. So yeah, that's the end of the temple. Thank you, priestesses of Melissa and now, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I still don't know how we can actually open this up. We don't have a key for that yet, so we're going to have to see it for later on. Uh, but thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll finally go to Lord Clayton's estate and start kicking off this storyline. Because uh, we've uh, wandered around uh, for a bit too long, maybe. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.